So the last couple days we learned how to add fractions, but today we're going to talk about mixed numbers. Now I'll show you what a mixed number is in just a minute here, but first let's look at some of the skills we already know so that we can understand how they relate to mixed numbers. So we know from our last couple of days, if I add one fifth plus three fifths, that's going to give me four fifths. I also know from what we learned yesterday that if I add two fifths plus three fifths, that's going to give me five fifths. And since the numerator and the denominator are the same, five fifths is equal to one whole. Now, what happens when our number becomes greater than one whole? That's where mixed numbers come in. Now, I'm going to show you a few examples here. We know from what we learned yesterday that if I have a bar here that's split into thirds. If I have three thirds, then I have one whole. I've colored in one whole. But what would happen if I had six thirds? I'm gonna change colors to make it a little bit easier to see. So in this second example, I've colored in six thirds. I've colored in six total pieces. Each of them is one third of a whole. So now how many holes do I have? I end up with two because three thirds here is equal to one three thirds here is equal to one so i would end up with a total of two now you might see where i'm going with this but let's take a look at the final example on the board what if i color in all nine thirds think about what you think the answer will be while i color them in All right, so I've colored in nine thirds. What do you think that's going to be equal to? How many holes do I have? Well, these three thirds are equal to one, these three thirds are equal to one, and these three thirds are equal to one. So if I have one plus one plus one, that's going to give me three. 9 thirds is equal to 3. Now, all of these are examples where the number colored in is equal to a whole number. But what happens when our answer is somewhere in between 1 and 2 or 2 and 3? Let's take a look at another example now. So again, we're going to look at three separate examples. Now, the first one, I'm going to start with one third. So I'm just going to color in one piece of a whole, one out of three pieces. And we already know from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday that this right here is equal to one third. But what do you think will happen when I have four thirds? So I'm going to go ahead and color in four thirds. How many holes and how many thirds do I have? I have one hole and one third. And this is how I would write it. This right here 
is what a mixed number is. It's when we combine whole numbers with fractions to give us a complete number. This is equal to four thirds. We can see that in our diagram. I colored in four thirds. I could also say I colored in one whole and one third. Let's look at our next example. This time, I'm gonna color in eight thirds. While I color, think about what you think the mixed number will be for eight thirds. All right, eight thirds, there it is. How many did I color in? First, I'm gonna look at the number of holes that I have. I have one whole bar here and another whole bar there. I have two holes. And how many thirds do I have left over? I have one two thirds left over. So my mixed number would be two and two thirds. I can also tell that from my diagram. I colored in two holes and two thirds. I also colored in eight thirds. So both of these are correct. They are equal to each other. Today, I want you to go on your Google form and answer questions converting from a fraction to a mixed number.